Dean is down. It's a good start from Rye off the outside of the front row. Edward Rye with a rocket of a start. Can he get round the outside of Thomas Potter into turn one? He can't. He's going to find Sullivan on the inside of him as well. Rye all the way round the outside trying to hold on. Sullivan is through though from P3. At the front though, Thomas Potter is disappearing off into the distance. Fastest lap of the race went to Thomas Potter that time around. He was a full uh, second quicker than anybody else on circuit that time around. That's going to be very difficult to catch that as well. But uh, another fastest lap of the race and he was still seven tenths of a second quicker than... There is the, the puddle and the coma we're talking about, Tom. Time's still not dropping too much uh, at the moment. No, lap Potter puts not. in the fastest lap of the race. Yeah, exactly. So there's the race leader with a commanding gap of 5.8 seconds. And he's gone and driven away from now William Howard by 5.8 seconds. Final lap though, and uh, Potter is already heading into hairpin three. Jacks that car, lovely. Look at that full lock turning right. Huge amount of grip over the front end of that car. They've done a great job of setting that one up here for the final and these conditions. He exits out of hairpin four and comes over the line to take a hugely commanding victory here in very tricky conditions.